Hello everybody, welcome back to Wara Codes. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a main menu in Unity. So, let's begin. An essential part to make in a game main menu is to have a canvas. So just go ahead and select in the UI Canva. For text, in my case, I'm going to use Text Mesh Pro and I'm going to install all the components and essentials. After this, I just want to change the text to be main menu and make my text bold. Then I want to recenter this so that it looks beautiful. I will also change the size so it fits in the Canva. Then I want to add a button which is under the UI section for adding game objects. With this button I want to be able to change scenes. So we're going to change from one scene to another. But before all of that I want to go ahead and delete the text that is lying as a subcomponent of the button and change it into a text mesh pro because that is more high quality than the text alone. So I'm going to change the name of this text to be start and then I changed some of the settings of the button and the text although I'm not going to show it to you in this video but you can navigate around these settings pretty easily it's pretty self-explanatory just experiment and you'll get a hang of it I am also going to change the background just for looks after everything is positioned as I like it I can go ahead and create the function that will permit me to change scenes once the start button is pressed so to start things off, create a script and link it to the Canva. After this, just open your script in your editor of choice. In my case, this is Visual Studios. The first thing you need to do is import scene management from the Unity engine. Just type out using unityengine.scenemanagement. This will provide us with a command that lets us switch scenes. In our case, switching to the play scene. Then you want to create a public function so that we can link it to our button that contains the code that allows us to change scenes. In our case, it's scene management.load scene. And between the two parentheses, we want to add a string with the name of the scene that we want to load. In our case, we need to create a new scene. Now you want to create a brand new scene with the name that you specified in your function. So in our case, it will be new scene. Then you want to go ahead and select the scene manager and add both of these scenes, the main menu and the new scene. After this, just select the button and go to the button script. Here you will see a function called onClick. Then you want to add a new object and then select the Canva and drag and drop it onto the object. Then in the function, you just want to select the function that you specified in your script. And this is my final result. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also comment down below what would you like me to do next. Anyways guys, bye.